gotta roll. Hey, welcome to the Live with Paul and Rachel show. So this is a show where we talk about all things serious, funny, Jesus, relatable, current, all, just all the things. We are, um, our goal is to talk to all the people in the community, maybe not all of them, but as many as we can, um, to get to know them, get to know their why, get to know what they're all about, um, so that you can know um, who they are. We walk around this community and we just don't know, we don't know anything about who we're hanging out with, right? So the first people that we want to start with are the people that we're hanging out with the most, as our anchored leaders, right? So that's what we're gonna do. We are going to meet our anchored leaders. So up first is the one and only Jim Ward. So give it up for Jim Ward. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey Jim, what's up? Oh, awesome day, awesome day. Things like uh, 112 out there. Just about. 99% humidity. No, no, go over it. It's probably about 96. Uh, yes. So nice. It's a big difference. Well, hey, thanks for inviting us out here. It's um, We've been out here a couple times so far this summer, um, and the youth have had a blast when we're out here. Um, you have a nice, awesome yard, so we've been able to play some awesome sports, sports games. So Those opportunities to water it as well. Yeah. <laughs> that that being said, we've had about five events in the last month, and there has been a certain track record involved with yourself on these events. Uh, and with that track record, Rachel and I have decided, as the student ministry directors, to give you a promotion. Now, this promotion comes with a, uh, a money, a double. Uh, it, yeah, we're going to oh. double your pay. All right, great. So uh, zero dollars still. And we're also going to give you a new title. Uh, and this, th th yeah, this title is the uh, Anchored Youth uh, Health and Safety Compliance Officer. Mm. So let's give it up. Let's give it up. Woo! So, so with that, <laughs> you've got new uh, PPE to go along with what, the and PPE. Personal, like PPE. Lots of PPE. Per personal protective equipment. Personal protection equipment. equipment. So oh, we've okay, got your yeah. safety glasses. All right, great. That's what I need. And uh, your safety vest. Fogged up. Yeah. Can't see anything. Yeah. You got your eyes and your uh, protective there. Yep. Great, great, great. Well, I don't get shot. Right. <laughs> We've got a, a your head hard gear. hat. Head gear, Properly yeah. sanitized, I assume. Yes, yes. absolutely. Yes. Does it go on this one? Yeah, yeah. And then a, a portable first aid kit. Ah. Uh, and now. Tool we... protector in here? Right. Everything you'll need. Not much. Uh, sure. <laughs> Oh, that's the health guy, health and safety. Now, uh, with these events, there's been, like I said, a track record. And we've also kind of tallied up through the leaders, the ranking. And you've placed third in uh, safety and health. Now, we were going to get you a trophy, but it uh, had sharp corners. So we kind of wanted to, we didn't want that around. It won't let me around sharp stuff. Right, right. So we, we, we'll just hand clap. Congratulations, Jim. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, awesome. Okay, so um, I'm just going to put a disclaimer out there. For those of you that don't know, um, we've, we've, we've only had a few injuries, actually, in the, in the five or six times that we've met. Well, there's, there's been a hurt toe. We, Severely. Who who was that toe injury? I, I'm pretty sure that was Jim. It was Jim. It was Jim. Uh, how's that Kick, toe? Uh, it hurts. It hurts a okay. lot. Yeah. All right. Was what? Hmm. I think there were some bee stings. Was there? One, there was a one, th th three. Uh, there three, were, three. 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 There were three. They were Africanized bees, though. Africanized. Who? No. Who uh, got illegal. the bee stings? Probably. Probably. Who was the bee? Probably murder hornets. Murder, murder. No, I'm gonna get some. Take care of those Africanized now, bees. Now, who was who got These the bees? These are Russian Africanized bees, I guess. But yeah. So wait, now was that was that you? That was Jim. That, that uh, was that was you. That was you. Oh, so that was you. Okay, so. They had them trained. They suck up. So was. So in those. Them on me. So in all those events and the trackables that we've been doing. OSHA recordables. OSHA recordables. Yes. Uh. Have we had any other? Uh, any other recordables other than some minor falls? Nah, no. No? No. no oh. No. 
So I think you're the man for the job. I think. I think. That's that's good. Good. Good to know. <laughs> All right. Oh. Clip. Moment clip here. I don't know. If, did you check whether that audio is going to show up on there? It will. You have to cut this part she off. She did. You did. All right. Yeah. Oh, awesome. we love you, Jim. Back. <laughs> okay, so next we are going to um, we're going to just interview. We're going to get to know Jim. So we oh. have uh, eleven questions we'd like to ask you. I have eleven <laughs> answers. Oh, perfect. Oh, so Jim, what do you do for a living? I work at Ag Partners Cooperative, um, office here in uh, Hiawatha and Seneca, and I do crop insurance and input loans. Perfect. What are your hobbies or what do you do for fun? Usually things that are destructive such as I like riding uh, dirt bikes, ATVs out in the oh, through trail stuff especially down in Arkansas, um, fishing, hunting, um, garden, weeding. Outdoors all we do. Yeah. Outdoors type. So do you by Some chance gaming. Have personal protection equipment with you for those? Just yes. Work? Well, yes. Some. <laughs> okay. He is. I actually have an outfit for riding a dirt bike, so yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna put it on right now unless I really need to. <laughs> we might have to take you up on that sometime. It's very colorful. <laughs> what is your favorite fast food chain, restaurant, or overall meal? Um, Famous Dave's probably ribs. Perfect. Or they have really good hamburgers. Well, that's actually my ribs are better, but I mean, if I gotta go out, like famous days. Is there anything that you wished would come back into fashion? <laughs> mm. Parachute pants, a lot of pockets. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah. useful. Where is the next place in your travel bucket list? Australia. That's a good one. Now you were saying it's hot here. I, I've heard it's fairly warm there <laughs> but it's a dry heat oh okay okay what's your most prized possession and why well offhand I gotta say my kids of course oh. uh, yeah. and then um, you know past them I don't know I don't get too attached to things not a material man not too much I don't even collect very well well, okay, so then what's your favorite family tradition? The, we go on a vacation every summer, or we have for quite a while. And that's the whole family. There's like this last, we were on vacation a week ago, there was 10 of us. Get in a van, we take off cross country, go somewhere exotic like Utah, and um, <laughs> <laughs> see things. And this, like this last one, was a little odd. Um, the whole coronavirus thing, um, never know if you're going to get to eat in a restaurant or outside of it or <laughs> it's even open. Um, so there's a little bit of gambling along with travel. A little bit, okay. yeah. yeah. Okay. I like it. What is the best piece of advice a family member has given you? Um, man, none, I get no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You could probably include yourself. Or in that this. you could give to somebody, See, maybe. Don't spend all your money. Okay. That's not really the best, but it's the only one I can come up with short notice. It's good. It's good. <laughs> On the whim. What's the most important holiday you spend with your family and why? Well, Christmas. Um, the tis the reason for the season and um, festive and our whole like uh, my whole family get together it's Burlington um, aunts uncles cousins I mean everybody kind of gets together yeah. and somebody inevitably shows up dressed up as Santa Claus and um, with a big tree and you know it's just a really fun time to get together on the flip side, it's also the one I hate the most because it's in the winter time and I really don't like winter too much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you the most proud of your family? Uh, just, I have a um, great wife, two great kids, 
they're not in trouble all the time, and they do not act like I did when I was their age, which is... Amen. I mean, that's... Amen. Uh, <laughs> that's a prayer we all wish was answered. Yeah. <laughs> I have to probably go give my parents a hug again, saying, how'd you ever put up with me? <laughs> Kudos. Yeah. Kudos. So we'll lighten it up just a little bit with more of a uh, your opinion now. What oh, 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 that's dangerous. What would you rather fight? One horse-sized duck or 100 duck-sized horses? 100 duck-sized horses. Okay. I now, don't like my little pony anyway. They always creep me out. <laughs> How do you hold stuff? It's the they don't tail. have fingers. You it's can't grab onto a guitar and strum it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> And the last one that we have for these questions is describe the color yellow to someone who is blind. You can't. They don't know what colors are. Did they start out seeing or blind their whole life? Blind their whole life and they came up to you and said, Jim, I want to know what yellow looks like. I would say, unfortunately, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Life's tough folks at times. <laughs> Fair enough. From the words of Jim. <laughs> okay. So, thank you. Thank you for that. Now we have a little bit more um, into Jim, our wonderful safety and health compliance officer. compliance officer. Okay. So, that being said, we are going to play a fun little game with Jim. Um, we like to liven things up. Um, and at Anchored, one of the things we love to do is play games. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to play a game similar to uh, Minute to Win It. We're going to keep it um, gym safe, I would say. Um, it's everyday things that you might do um, on a daily basis. Um, we're going to go ahead and blindfold Paul. Let's see, as a safety and health compliance officer, Jim would see these activities and know the what if behind them. How could they turn dangerous? So just, you know, well, we and, and based on, and based on, well, on your track record, I just don't know that blindfolding you makes sense. So we're going to not blindfold you today, Jim. Well, appreciate so, it. So we're going to play this um, daily... Um, Relay. minute to win it type game with you, okay? All right, so here we go, guys. <laughs> All right, so first up, we're going to let Paul get his blindfold on. And then Jim will have you just, oh, no, you got to keep all your PPE gear on. Come on. see through it. It's fogging up. <laughs> anti-fog. All right. Now, this is as fast as you can, Jim. We are going to have you, oh, right over here, across the table. We are going to have you pour a glass of water. Next up, you are going to take a piece of paper and you are going to cut a circle. Next up, you are going to run over here and you are going to blow some bubbles. Then you are going to... Run over, uh, run or walk over to the chair, grab the five pound weight and walk it back over here. And then to finish up, you will shoot a hoop. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> All right, Got one down, one down. Proper safety scissors. Now just don't get hurt, now come on. A circle. A circle. Big one, little one. A circle. No Just you a gotta, circle. You got to curve off the corners. <laughs> uh. A circle. <laughs> sort of. Okay. Let me see your circle. Oh, got it. Got it. Okay. Now we're going to blow some bubbles. Over here. Over here, Paul. There you are. Down. Over, 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 towards the door. Over. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Where do you put the weight? Just grab your ball and shoot a hoop. <laughs> oh. 
my toe. No. <laughs> I don't know if I'm blowing any bubbles. <laughs> I might need some assistance. This, you know, excuses are. Got it. You got it. Not necessary. Wow. Oh! Oh, I missed it on the camera. Got it! All right. Well, I, did I win? You are the official winner. Slapped you. Yeah. <laughs> you are the winner. <laughs> the, the you actually we have a medal for you. All right. <laughs> so not only do you get to leave today with a promotion, PPE and and a pay raise, right. you also get this wonderful gold medal to let everyone know that you have Safely completed. This, this is the gift that keeps on giving the whole year long. <laughs> this can be an anchored event that you uh, left without hurting yourself. Yeah. Hey, we're not over yet. Oh. Well, we're not over. You have one more question for us, Jim. All right. Yes. In one, one minute, can you tell us um, just something that Jesus has done for you in your life um, that you would love to tell um, Hiawatha about are these um, anchored youth? Well, Christ has been in my life as far back as I can remember. It was always, uh, church has always been a, a part of it. Um, as I grew, as I ran into, I, I can explain some things, but um, I've been, I've gotten in several instances where I could have got hurt pretty badly and I, I didn't. And I've had instances where I've been, um, and I have a little tendency towards some, uh, like maybe a little depression here and there. And Christ has always been there to pull me through. So, um, it would be a it would be a tough life without him. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, Jim, thank you so much for today. Thank you for giving us um, some of your time and sharing your space with us. You're an awesome guy, and we are glad to have you. Well, thanks for coming, everybody. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for sharing um, in our time. It's live with Paul and Rachel. Until next time. As always, you are loved. <laughs>